Hi everyone, in this video I will show how to prevent or limit users from creating groups in Office 365. By default, all users can create Microsoft 365 groups. And this is the recommended approach from Microsoft because it allows users to start collaborating without requiring assistance from IT. But let's say that's not your business requirement or your, your business has a different policy and you need to prevent or restrict users from creating groups. So when you limit who can create a group, it affects all services that rely on groups for access, including Outlook, SharePoint, Yammer, MS Teams, MS Stream, Planner, Power BI Classic, Project for the Web. The step that I'm going to show you in this video is not going to affect or prevent members of certain roles from creating groups. For example, Microsoft 365 Global Admins can create groups from Microsoft 365 Admin Center. They can do it from Planner, Exchange, and SharePoint, but not other locations such as Teams. Same thing applies to other roles. For example, Exchange Administrator, Partner Tier 1 Support, Partner Tier tier two supports and i'm going to list them in the description of this video and what microsoft recommend is if you're a member of one of these roles you can create microsoft 365 groups for restricted users and then assign the user as the owner of the group we also have a license requirements if you're the admin who configures this group creation settings you need to have Azure AD premium licenses or Azure AD basic edu licenses but if you are the members who don't have the ability to create other groups, you don't need to have any licenses. So you don't need to have Azure AD Premium or Azure AD Basic EDU licenses. Before I start creating the restriction, I'm gonna show you one example. I have this user here and he, as you can see, he can create teams and the option is available for him. This is a good example. This user has a regular license. He's not part of a, any admin groups. And I'm gonna see if I can prevent or disable this button on his Microsoft Teams. Our first step is going to be creating a security group. I'm logged into Microsoft 365 Admin Center and from Teams and Groups dropdown, I'm going to select Active Teams and Groups. Then I'm going to select Add a Group and I'm going to create a security group here. I'm gonna name it Allow Group Creation and I'm gonna say Next and I'm gonna say Create Group. So as you can see, the group is ready. Now for the step two, I need to run PowerShell commands. First, you need to run PowerShell as an admin. Then you need to run this command, get dash install module. This command will help you to see or list installed module on your computer. And per Microsoft, if you have Azure AD general availability version two, I have to uninstall this by running an uninstall dash module Azure AD and install Azure AD preview module. So what I'm doing right now, I'm uninstalling my Azure AD general availability. When it's uninstalled, then I'm going to install Azure AD preview module. Also, Microsoft says if you already have Azure AD preview, you can run update dash module Azure AD preview to just update what you have to the latest version. But I, in my case, I don't have it. As you can see, I have Azure Active Directory version 2 general available. That's why I'm uninstalling it right now. So it's uninstalled. Now, if I run get installed module again, as you can see, I don't have Azure AD in the list. Now I'm going to install the preview version or preview module. So it's going to be install dash module. And then I have to say Azure AD preview. So it says completed. Now I'm going to check again. Now, as you can see, it says Azure AD preview, whereas here it will say Azure AD. Now it's time to run that specific command where I can restrict group creation. So here's the command that I'm going to use. All I need to do just where it says group name, I need to add my group, my security group that I created and I have to add it here. And if you remember, I called my security group, allow group creation. Here I'm in Azure Active Directory Admin Center, and it doesn't matter if I go here to the active teams and groups, I have the same name here. So here's my group name, and, and I'm gonna just use this, copy the group name and paste it here, and then I'm gonna run this command. 
Here I need to sign in to my Office 365 and I'm gonna use my admin username and password. I'm gonna sign in. It's still running the script. The script is over and we have two things here that I need to point out. Group creation allowed, group ID. This is the group ID of my security group. If I add anyone to this group, that user can create groups from Teams or any other places in Office 365. Another one is this one, enable group creation false. This indicates no one else in the company can create groups. Now I'm gonna go to my two machines and I'll show you how it's gonna look like on a user who is an admin, global admin, and another user who is not a global admin. One thing you have to remember, even if you're par part of global admins group or you have a global admin permission, you should still be added to the security group if you're trying to create groups from Teams or any other places. You can still do it from Office 365 Admin Center, but if you wanna do it from Microsoft Teams, you need to be added to that security group. So I logged into this computer and this user is, doesn't have Azure AD P1 license and I blocked group creation from Microsoft Teams. So if I click on Teams and if I go here, join or create a team, and if you notice the feature where it says create a group, it's gone for this user. Also, you can do another test. You can go to a planner, for example, you can open up planner and you can click on new plan. And before even you start typing it, you notice that it says your admin has turned off new group creation. So, so this user cannot create any groups anywhere. And planner was part of one of those affected services. But if I go to this machine here, this user can still see create team button because I added him to my security group. And you have to remember, this is my global admin in my tenant. I didn't have to add him to my security group. The only reason I added him because I wanted him to create team directly from Microsoft Teams. Because he's a global admin, he can go to Microsoft Teams admin center and create teams directly from there. Example like this takes time or policies like this takes time for me in my test environment it took me 30 minutes to see the changes in my two users so be patient and yeah that's that's how you can prevent user from creating teams in office 365 let me know if you have any questions see you all next time